So following up from my video last week about big banks not allowing licensed cannabis businesses to have accounts, we're moving on now to Ontario, where a grocery chain really, really wants some of the cannabis regulations changed to allow them to start selling weed recreationally at the grocery store. You know, like some, some similar grocery stores, they have like the wine rack store at the front. That's, that's kind of what they want here. They, they want you to have your groceries, your wine rack, your lottery and your cigarettes, and now your weed, okay? This, this is, and, and the laws right now say that a cannabis business has to be its own separate building. It, it has to have its own four walls. It has to have its own entrance and exit. It cannot be a store within a store at this point. Um, they also want to make it so that recreational marijuana can also be sold by medical marijuana shops or, or owners such so, because this grocery chain Loblaws owns Shoppers Drug Mart, which sells medical carrot cannabis, they are prevented from having recreational shops at this point and they want that changed. Now these regulations that they want changed would really more benefit the big box stores the big box chains um, of licensed cannabis shops as well as licensed chains of grocery stores slash convenience stores like Circle K for instance or uh, Shortstop. Um, it, it would be it would affect and and bolster those people long before it would help your independent mom and pop cannabis shop. And quite frankly, I think we need to have regulation changes that allow for more independent cannabis shops. I think before we start changing the regulations in Ontario or anywhere in Canada to allow big box competition, I think we should fix the problem that I spoke about last video where the banks are not allowing legal businesses to operate accounts and that they're even affecting the personal lives of these owners wherein they can't get mortgages for their homes. I think before we start allowing grocery stores to sell weed that we fix that problem first. We need to fix the banking problem before we allow more competition because these big box stores will be able to deposit their, their weed cash in the accounts with their other cash from their grocery store, their cigarette, their, they'll just throw that money in on top of the other stuff and they can get away with that. The, the mom and pop shop can't. So we need to fix that banking problem before we bring in big box stores to allow them to sell pot alongside their other convenience items. I think we're putting the cart before the horse here again. And this is why the legal market in Canada for weed is still really messed up. And this is why we need to fix these problems, the banking problem, the the edible potency problem, because nobody's buying legal edibles. They're they're worthless. They're not worth the money that you spend on them. It's like six dollars for one chocolate with 10 milligrams of THC. No, thank you. So let's fix those problems before we start letting grocery stores sell pot. OK, please. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.